He's back from Afghanistan with a lot to report. Senator Toomey, welcome in. You're uh, among friends here in uh, Congresswoman Michelle Bachman's office from D.C. Good morning, Dom. How are you? Well, very, very well. What can you tell us? Where were you in Afghanistan, Senator? <clears throat> well, I spent two days in Afghanistan after a day in Pakistan. <clears throat> the first day, uh, mostly in the, the Kabul area, and then a day down in one of the southern provinces, the Helmand province, and uh, at uh, Camp Leatherneck, the big Marine Corps installation in the Helmand province, and uh, actually getting out into the country, uh, a little village called Nawa in the southern part of the province. Uh, so um, saw a fair amount of the, the country for, uh, for an intense two days. And what's your, what's your takeaway in this? We certainly know the negatives. We know how hard the struggle is. Even General Petraeus says that. What uptick do you see or what do you see that may be showing signs of improvement? Well, I think the objective measures uh, of the conditions on the ground have clearly turned the corner and have moved in a very positive direction. Since we've implemented a true surge, since we've adopted a uh, classic counterinsurgency approach under the leadership of General Petraeus, and since we started building up Afghan forces, military and police forces, so that they are increasingly able to, on a limited scale, to take over security measures. Look, the fact is, Helmand province, where I was, a big province right next to Kandahar, which is the origin of the Taliban, Helmand province a year ago was run by the, the Taliban. They owned it. They controlled it. They, it was their real estate. We couldn't go there. The, the natives, uh, you know, the indigenous population there was, was terrified and uh, terrorized. Today, the Taliban's out of Helmand province almost entirely, and increasingly it's looking very difficult for the Taliban to re, you know, reemerge as a force there. Now, that's just one province, but there's been distinct progress um, across the country. The problem is it is still fragile, it's still reversible, and so we're not finished yet. Well... I turn to you as one of the big go-to guys, given your record with the Club for uh, Growth and just your overall acumen and economic matters, Senator Toomey. We have the debt ceiling issue coming up. We've talked a little bit with uh, various people here in Congress. What's your sense, you just wrote an article on this, of what Republicans can do to, uh, I guess, hold Democratic uh, feet to the fire on this issue so we just don't keep raising this debt ceiling right. without any drawdown of spending? Well, and that's exactly right. The last thing we should do is simply go along and raise the debt ceiling and continue business as usual because we are mounting up an unsustainable debt. That's just a fact, and I see this as a big opportunity to insist that if we're going to increase the debt ceiling because of the fix that we're in, we're going to insist on real, sub real cuts in spending and real proceed process reform that will allow us to get this spending under control. Now, some have, have uh, tried, especially those who really want to grow government, have, have been very alarmist and given us this shrill message that if we don't immediately raise the debt ceiling, the American, uh, United States government will default on its debt and we'll have a financial crisis. And the purpose of my op-ed in yesterday's Wall Street Journal, Dom, was to underscore very clearly that that's just not true. Even if we don't raise the debt ceiling, we're certainly going to continue to collect taxes. And the taxes that the government collects are enough to fund 70% of all the projected spending, while debt service is only 6% of projected spending. So there's no reason in the world that we should default on our, uh, our bonds or notes, our, our interest rate obligations. And just to be absolutely sure, I'm going to introduce legislation that will instruct the Treasury that in the event that we don't raise the debt ceiling, which I'm not... Uh, you know, I'm not advocating that we not raise it, but I'm insisting that, that we get some real spending discipline in return for raising it. But if it doesn't get raised, the Treasury will simply honor our, our debt obligations first so that there is no danger of a default and a corresponding financial crisis. Congressman, now Senator Pat Toomey, as always, thank you so much. Uh, anything else on your agenda you want your constituents to know back home in Pennsylvania, upcoming with you that's of uh, major significance? Well, this is the big battle right now. We're going to have a, a bill to decide how much we're going to fund this government for the remainder of this fiscal year. We're going to fight over that, and I'm going to fight for a lot less spending because we're spending too much. And then we're soon going to move on to this question of the debt limit, and I think we really need structural reforms to get spending under control. Those are the two uh, pretty immediate items on the agenda, Don. 
Senator, thank you. Thanks for the time today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.